So I've been asked to make a video about how to make handles. And of course, handles are a little bit tricky. They're kind of fussy. They're very finely crafted materials. Quite often they have lots of little details to them, like this guy. Um, so what I want to do is show you how to make a few of these things. I'll probably be a couple of videos because some of them take a little while. You may want to watch this a little bit faster. Um, and what I'm just hoping that you will do is to recognize that what we're learning here is construction methods. I'm not actually showing you how to make handles. I'm actually showing you how to use SketchUp to make anything. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to, on this simple one, this guy right here, um, I'm just going to use my circle and draw a circle on there. I can see the radius is a quarter inch. Maybe that's fine. Push pull tool to pull that out. Get that, you know, a little bit of a stem on there. And then what I'm going to use is my offset tool, this guy right here, or the F key. And when I roll over that face, it says you might want to make something, you know, that is that shape. I can, I can go inside that or outside that and make something that's maybe that size. Push pull tool again, pull that out a little bit, maybe take that inside shape, get rid of that. I don't want to knob with a hole in it. And then what I can do is grab this. Now what I want to do is make the end of that. You can see I want to kind of round it off like that, make it smooth. So I'm going to grab this end and I want to push pull that a little bit farther out, but I want to make a new line right there. If I touch the option key, push pull and then option, you notice I get that little plus sign, which means I'm going to have a new line right there. So that means I can double click this end, use my scale tool, scale lives right here, scaling, and hold down the option key to, or alt on your, or I think it's actually command, or control rather, on your PC to shrink the end of this knob down to say 50% of the size of the original one. And then what I can do is, as you know, click um, control, right click that to get to my soften menu, soften smooth edges, and it says, how would you like to smooth that? And I'd like to smooth it kind of a lot. So it gives me a chance to do that, do the same thing with this line back here, and say soften, you have to say it like that. And so then you got, okay, maybe it's too long of a knob. I can use the scale on that um, to, to change the way that that works. Um, as I say, I think what I'll do is make a few of these videos so I can show you some more techniques. I would probably grab that whole thing, control click, make it a component, call it a knob. And then if I wanted to, I could um, scale that. Zip, like that. So you got lots of control over there to how to make something like that. Um, I will make another couple of videos to show you how to make handles like this, like this, like this. Okay, talk to you very soon.